Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles and we have justice in reverse. Now, normally when I look at this particular depiction of the Eight of Pentacles, I don't focus too much on the spider, except to think, well, you know, spiders work very hard making their webs, um, they're very diligent, and the Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in hard work. But today I'm drawn to the spider as a symbol of feminine energy, patience you know you create your web then you sit and you wait to see what you catch so it may be that you've given a lot already in spirit saying now it's time to, to hold back and to watch what comes into you to watch your abundance come to you this could also be talking about some kind of creativity as well okay justice in reverse libra energy again there's an imbalance and if the imbalance is that you've been putting in a lot of work um spirits interjecting here to say they have a message and the message for you is to um you know this is a time for you to give less and receive more okay so we have the knight of cups and we have the ten of swords wow so there's some romantic feelings here now, I will go further into clarify, but these may have been expressed on the, the part of your person, or they may have been held back. If your person's been holding these feelings back with the Ten of Swords, they're saying it's caused a lot of pain and a sense of an ending even, or some kind of event that, that has made things seem like at least a cycle has ended and your person wishes they'd express this more to you. It can also be that part of you giving and not receiving enough back is that you made it very clear where you stood and what your feelings were oh my other cat is coming to say hello <laughs> that's a surprise um so you made your feelings very clear and this person is now saying they wish they had responded differently maybe be more open to your feelings or more ready mm. okay i feel justice is going to be a big theme of this reading let's see where are we going with this Okay, three of cups in the reverse. What else, please? Two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, wow. I thought this person didn't necessarily make you um, a priority in the past. Okay, we've got the four of pentacles reversed. Oh, wow, the nine of swords underneath the ten of swords and the seven of wands okay gosh this person their message for you they're saying they understand there's a need for them to open up and to be more um communicative this person has lots of daydreams fantasies about you in their heart space they are very much open to you and this connection and um and you know their feelings for you and where this could go but they keep them very hidden and they keep you pushed out to an extent of their heart space and they're worried they're worried about whatever ending has happened or whatever pain has been caused here and if they've pushed you away that's also playing heavily on their mind right now even though it may not look like it Let's see what's on the back see exactly the lovers gemini energy here but this person's saying there is so much more going on within than they are showing you and they they're feeling pretty stressed out and upset by a couple of things firstly that they haven't been showing you and secondly that they want to and they're saying okay how do i do this how do i open up how do i drop my defenses here maybe you've even blocked them or they've blocked you and now you know they're hoping you will unblock them or um you know they're hoping that you will let them back in if they unblock you we have the hermit in reverse and i'm just pausing here Virgo energy, but I remember in last the last reading I did on Monday, the Hermit came out in the upright. And while these readings aren't always, you know, a continuous storyline, it does look like, you know, the person who was in Hermit mode, so your person, if they were thinking deeply, they have reached some sort of conclusion here. There is forward movement. Okay, so let's go through. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please, with the Three of Cups. The page of pentacles in the reverse. 
Okay, so a child could be involved, concerned for a child, but do you know what this feels like to me? In the past, your person didn't give enough. It may be that they didn't even offer you something as small as the Page of Pentacles would offer here. Um, and that's led to some kind of disappointment, maybe repeated disappointment or even um, a separation here. My, I suddenly feel really tired, like I've been speaking for hours, and I haven't, obviously, you know, I've been here five minutes, um, and my throat feels kind of raw, so I don't know if your person has literally been in tears over this, crying, maybe there have been arguments, um, or it's just a representation of them feeling absolutely exhausted, holding everything in, you know, four of coins in reverse, they've got to start letting things go, things that aren't serving them, they've got to open up about their feelings and let, you know, release um, their hold, their need for control. Okay, yeah, we have the Knight of Swords, absolutely, the injustice has been the lack of communication. I mean, I think that should probably be the title of today's reading. Yep, the tower in reverse. So your person is saying they feel that if they don't come forward now... Oh, we have lives alone popping out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll get to those in a minute. Um, your person is saying if they don't come forward and speak now, they feel that this is it. This is you, They won't have another chance. Whatever cycle has wrapped up, it will not begin again. This will be over. That um, They will have messed up too much. We have the Four of Swords over here. So this is someone who has been resting, not taking action, thinking about things. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, if there is someone else involved, if this is a third party situation for you, and we have the Three of Cups specifically talking about like a karmic or, you know, husband, wife, long term relationship, that sort of thing, your person's saying they've got to let that go because it's not actually a happy situation behind closed doors. And they're pretty anxious, you know, when they think of doing this and trying to figure out how to do it as well. Okay, so really your person's saying, they did need some time to think, but it has been productive. They understand what they've got to do um, in terms of moving forward towards you, opening up. And if there is someone else to release, releasing that person um, and they're feeling the pressure that it's not to say you're putting pressure on, but they're putting pressure on themselves saying, I've got to do this now. OK, so we have lives alone. That could be important, especially if your person didn't live alone before. They might want you to know that their situation has changed. Perhaps you live alone. We have dedicated to a hobby. So this could be confirmation for you. You know, if your person is very, um, very focused on a particular hobby or something like that, that this is who we're talking about. We have employed. So maybe they have moved because of a job. They weren't employed, they are employed now. It could be that something to do with their work has been an obstacle in the past and they're saying, I know, I understand. We have married, yeah. I do feel that, for some, not for all of you, of course, for some of you, there is some commitment here um, that's existed over time and your person is saying, well, I've got to let that go. Oh, and we have rents a home. Yeah, there's a, there's a situation change, a change in circumstances for someone here. Um, someone's person, they've, they've literally moved home, they're renting somewhere temporarily, um, or they've moved because of work. I think we had that last Wednesday as well. So some pretty big life changes are going on here. You know, we do have the tower showing up. I don't remember if I mentioned, but that's Scorpio energy. Okay, what else please, Spirit? We have jealous. So this could be a slightly jealous person you're dealing with. Um, they could maybe be jealous if there is distance between you and they feel that other people get to be around you and speak to you a lot. Okay, we have feminine masculine balance. So we did have the lover's card. Do I still have it? Where is it? Yep. So divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. Your person perhaps saying they've been taking time to balance out their energy um, and to feel, you know, um, united and whole and in union with themselves before they come forward so that they can be in a healthier place. Also, if we go right back to the start, that message about not overgiving with justice being in reverse, something has been out of balance here. And I think you're going to have to have the best results if you try and do what you can on your side to put things back into balance. So you will know what that means. 
you know, if you've been giving too much, maybe um, pulling back, if you've been acting out of fear, trying to act only when you feel divine inspiration, which can be tough if you're wanting to do something, especially if your person is stubborn and you have felt like you're the one who always has to, um, you know, take action and push things forward. I feel as well, your person is saying that they feel that you are their other half, you know, you are their um, divine counterpart here, whether they believe in or use the terms like soulmates, twin flames, um, you know, divine soul connections or anything like that, they just feel sort of complete with you. We have self-deprecating, so someone could always make jokes at their own expense or they could secretly be quite down on themselves. We have loud, so this could be someone who comes across as being very confident, very loud, a bit brash even, a bit abrasive. And so I'm getting for some of you, your friends and family are, are looking at you and they're like, really? This person? Not because they're being mean and judgmental, but this might not be someone you'd normally go for. And you might be saying, yeah, but there's this really nice, sweet side to them that other people don't see. See, exactly, peaceful. Yeah, this person has two sides, this loud outward masculine energy that, and then this sort of peaceful, quiet feminine energy. And they may have been figuring out how to how to bring those sides of themselves together to coexist, especially if throughout life they've pushed one of those sides away. OK. What else do we have, please, Spirit? Messages from my viewer, from my person. Okay, we have, when's the next bust out of here? So this person could be feeling quite overwhelmed at this time, maybe with a connection or maybe with everything it's bringing up within, you know, um, the need to, to give more, to open up. Um, and they could be panicking. Perhaps they've, you know, never felt the need or desire to be this open with anybody before. They also could have acted this way in the past and that caused that Ten of Swords energy, that feeling of betrayal, a painful ending. We have faithful to you. So even if um, you've been in separation, I think in their heart space, they have always remained faithful to you. It's always been you, you know. Um, they've always had these feelings to you. They've always, since, since you met, they've been thinking about you. But with the Seven of Wands, they pushed you away. Yeah, maybe because they thought you were just too good to be true. They, they had never met anybody like you before. And especially, you know, if they have this self-deprecating way about them, they may have been saying, well, I like to put on a good show and, and pretend I'm, you know, um, sort of God's gift to whoever, but I don't really believe that deep down. And then they look at you and they think that you really are. You're absolutely incredible. And that makes them nervous. we have I see I have nothing wow so maybe they might be jealous of people around you who they think have more than you and might be more appealing to you you know in terms of money or um looks or status or something like that it's not just lust it's love so for those of you who've been wondering is this just a passionate connection or now now that you know the passion has died down they've gone quiet is, is that because it was only temporary and their feelings were fleeting they're saying nope it's deep it's love okay and let's see what fell on the floor okay we have let's just be friends and we have oh i just don't feel the same Okay, I heard a very rude word in my head when I pulled these out. Um, how can I phrase it? Uh, bull feces? <laughs> because that's just not true. I think this is the energy you've seen from your person, this push and pull. And when things get intense, when they get deep, when your person's required to step up, they have in the past, they've run, you know, when's the next bus out of here? And then we've got, it's not just lust, it's love. So... This connection has definitely been challenging, probably for both of you. Um, and yeah, the amount of times I feel this person has pushed you away has caused some serious um, pain here. And that's why they want you to know they've always thought of you. They've, they've always cared, even when they've acted like, um, you know, they don't care. 
But, you know, I, I think we've moved past all this push and pull energy now. I think this is them acknowledging it. And the reason I say we've moved past it is because we have that card talking about masculine and feminine balance. We have cards like the Hermit in reverse. And we have the Tower showing your person and having this moment of clarity of awakening and realizing that time is of the essence you know there's a need now to move this forward okay so what else please messages from my viewer we have yeah would you give me the chance to make things right between us mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still trying to find myself, so that's what they have been working on. I think they're pretty much, you know, there and ready to go, if I'm honest. I mean, throughout life we grow, we change, we're always finding ourselves in a way or finding the newest and most relevant versions of ourselves, but we don't always need to go into hermit mode. You know, sometimes it's not super, super intense and we can do it while we're still, you know, around people. And I kind of think that's where they are now. We have You Are Irreplaceable. I'm hearing that song. What's, is it Sinead O'Connor? Nothing compares to you. Um, we will be together again. Spirit's telling me three more. So let's get three. So we have yes there are still so many unsaid things between us hence the energy of that knight of swords their impatience to get this out um mm, how could you still love me after all i've done i'm sorry i couldn't follow through with my promises gosh so for some of you not only did this person do a 180 and run away from this connection they may actually have said something to you or promised you something and then pulled back when they became overwhelmed I'm hearing when push comes to shove so maybe even um if if that third party storyline resonates with you it was time for them to tell the other person i'm leaving and then they couldn't or they weren't ready or something like that yeah we have a card of friendship coming out so maybe they pushed you into a friend zone or they tried to but their soul was like are you kidding no this is not a <laughs> this is not just a friendship okay so let's see nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so for some of you maybe they maybe you maybe both of you are saying i want to take this a bit slower you know okay let's rebuild but we're doing it from the ground up we're going to get a really solid foundation this time which is you know a good thing for sure okay we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So this could be a very good time for manifestation, for cleansing, you know, literally cleansing your body, your home, or whether it's your mind, your energy, your energetic body. Yeah, and we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So maybe, you know, you might not see this coming in spirit saying, heads up, there is going to be a transformation, a significant change here. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this has helped. I'm going to do the one question, one card reading. If you would like to leave a question for Friday's reading in the comments, please do, and I will enter you into the draw. It's all unbiased. I put your names into a computer program and I have a video linked below to show how. So I'll clear these away and then we'll do the one question, one card. Okay, so um, just to say, if this reading has resonated with you and you'd like to look into it further, I will have an extended link below. Um, and I'm going to look at where things are heading with your connection and also um, messages to you from spirit okay so today's winner for the one question one card is marco diaz who asked will i have union with my divine masculine so let's have a look okay spirit what can you say please to marco will there be um will there be union here okay marco have union please with his divine masculine Are we taking all of these? Yes. You know, sometimes spirit is so sarcastic with me, <laughs> particularly when I ask something like, am I taking these cards and they've flown out? I always get something like, yes, obviously. Okay, three of wands, king of wands in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse. So something here is manifesting and moving forward, despite the fact 
that it looks like your divine masculine is being very stubborn. So you may have really resonated with the reading that we just had with that stubborn card coming out. This person, don't doubt, they want something with you, very tangible, very grounded, um, something that can grow with the Ace of Pentacles. This, this is a big proposal or offer here of some kind. So can there be a union? Absolutely, yes. You know, and a successful relationship, definitely. Will there be a union? I think this person's got to get over their ego or their stubbornness or pride or fear, whatever this is. But it looks to me that things are moving forward regardless of this person trying to put up some sort of defence. So I would lean more to the, towards the side of a yes. Um, if you're manifesting, I think keep going. It looks like you're what you're doing is working otherwise i would say it's almost like spirit saying um we're working on this with your person right now with the three of wands the three of wands can sometimes talk about patience you know you send your ship out to to a different country to go and collect something and then you have to wait for it to come back but it's not going to be as fast as a car or a plane or something like that you know so um it might take a bit of time but this this is very encouraging particularly this ace of pentacles here so um yeah, this feels pretty hopeful to me. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Take care. I will see you on Friday, definitely, for the what's hidden reading, anything you should know, blessings, blockages, what's coming in, what's manifesting with your person. Um, so I'll see you then for sure. Hopefully tomorrow, I'll see if I can um, manage to get in a bonus reading. But otherwise, take care and um, hope to see you soon. Bye.